Hello and welcome to the Johnny Danger Show. I'm Johnny Danger coming to you live from the Danger Zone. And today we bring you another episode of the Saturday Morning Podcast, where we bring you the latest and greatest in internet news. But we do it, but we bring it to you today. That being said, today we have a really great show today. Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. So kind. Everyone's so nice here. Uh, yeah, we have a great show for you today. We have uh, the Grimace Shake fad trend. Fad trend, whatever you want to call it. I'm a millennial, so it's a fad. Uh, we have uh, it's France on fire all last week, but yet we're, no one's talking about it. Uh, the Liver King is back, baby. Uh, and uh, a special surprise, which uh, I hinted at, not only on the title, but in my background. Here. Today. On the Danger Zone. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Everyone, like I'm just... I, you know, do do the show in front of a live audience is, is scary enough, but uh, you know, having so much love and support. All right, we're done with that bit. Let's go. Moving on. <laughs> Just get right into this show. I need to get my chat up, hide my viewer account because I don't want to look at that oh, the whole freaking show. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so last week, if you were were out and about or in and about. Um, you, you might have saw a trend on TikTok. I want to load this music really quick. Uh, and the shake, the shake, the the trend was. People have been recording themselves drinking the grimace shake, and unfortunately, a lot of people was not okay. I mean, it's all right. The McDonald's Grimace Shake is driving people mad. If you haven't seen, awful things are happening to the people who drink the Grimace Shake. No one knows why this started happening, but there are plenty of theories. The first being that the oh ingredients God. of the shake a are driving these consumers A lot of these insane. images are really graphic. Another is Grimace himself is getting revenge on the people who drink his shake. Personally, I'll be staying far away from this shake, but subscribe if you would try it. There you go. Round of applause. Couldn't explain it better myself. Uh... Yeah, so uh, the trend is is uh, people have been in, and just a disclaimer alert. This is very morbid stuff. Uh, a lot of people kind of took it a little far, but uh, you got to hand it to it. Like, not only was this the most successful marketing campaign in 2023 thus far, I mean, it's the year is almost over, believe it or not. Uh, but I mean, the creativity involved in, in these. Uh, and these videos are just astonishing. So um, let's just go with like a big content creator. the the whole The whole way I wanted to introduce this um, segment is uh, I wanted to pretend like it was a real sketch. Now it was like a news report. Um, but that's it's way gone. So we'll pretend though. So uh, let, let's just uh, start from the beginning, quote unquote. Uh, so I'll, I'll just go into uh, character. Here we go. <clears throat> Last week on the news, <laughs> last week on the news, Gr the Grimace Shake has been uh, reportedly harming people. And that's what, probably the reason why I didn't want to do it this way is because, you know, um, I did see a video where a, a kid. Where's the music? A kid actually hurt himself. Uh, was No, no, it didn't hurt himself. Retract that. A, a kid actually uh, was really concerned regarding uh, this trend and even like warned, his, like started crying, warning his parents, like, please don't drink it. You're going to get hurt. So let's disclaimer and alert. No, none of this is real. No one got hurt in any of these videos, hopefully. But the level of these videos are crazy. So we'll start off with the, with the uh, big streamers first. And then uh, we'll go into the, the smaller ones that kind of went a little, little This is how you make a Grimace shake. A cup of blueberries, half a cup of raspberries, three scoops of ice cream, and a half a cup of milk. Seems simple enough. It's like a smoothie, actually, right? And so they, they should, probably should have called it the, the Grimace, uh, the Grimace smoothie. Oh my god. Oh my god. The poor little lady. Round of applause for that one. I'm trying not to drink on camera. I'm trying to be professional here. 
So, so that's the level of quality, right, that you're seeing in these videos. You, the the whole premise is you drink the shake, you something happens, and then uh, you know, you die. But I don't know. I thought it was such a creative. Look, some of them, like this video, even has a sensitivity content warning. This this guy's so awesome. I like his videos. I like his whole. Um, I don't know his name. What is his name? I don't know why I'm so flustered today. Colin Stetton, Onyx the Fur Furturious. It's just the way I like his videos because he's just like this guy that you randomly interview. That's his whole bit, and the way he talks is uh. I don't know. Uh, you know, I can't do it. But uh, watch the video here. Uh, wa watching the video will give you more context than I can. Meow meow. Onyx the Fortuitous meow, here. Meow. About to try the new Grimace shake from McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grimace. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know what all the fuck. Oh, 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 no, 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 Production of this video is nuts. Oh, we serve you, Grimace. We praise you. We serve you, Grimace. We praise you, God. That's real. No, I'm just kidding. Round of applause for that one. And so, like, the ones with lower production values even look worse. They even look realer somehow. Ready? Oops. Happy birthday to my man Grimace. Today we're going to be trying Grimace's birthday juice. Honestly, it's not even that bad. <laughs> like, yo, tell me. Yeah, this might be too, this might be too much to show. And now they're spraying like some sort of something. It looks, it's like a purple, purple syrup looking thing on them, but it looks like blood. So we can't show that, I don't think. I don't want to get banned from Twitch. <laughs> over a Grimace video. But gosh, right? Like, holy crap. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, I, I didn't vet these. I just kind of clipped them and then and moved on. Tell them to bring out the Grimace shake. Happy, Happy birthday, Grimace! Yo, 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 Oh, let's go see what it is. It's like that, um... <laughs> but, but the Blair Witch style. Fair enough. Round of applause for that one. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Okay, okay. Who else do we have? That one didn't really seem too bad. Hey guys, today we're going to be trying the new Grimace shake from McDonald's. Happy birthday, Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. Oh, this is the one I think we just watched, isn't it? This looks like an abandoned laundry mat. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. We're burning through these. I mean, not not everybody liked the uh, Grimace shake. Let's uh let's take a look at our favorite granny. I don't even know her name. I just see her everywhere. Angry grandma. Let's t let's find out what Angry Grandma has to say about the Grimace shake. Angry grandma? Angry Grandma? Angry Grandma? Are you, Do you uh, guys have that fucking, uh, uh, <laughs> birthday milkshake, the purple one? Let me get the birthday milkshake. Uh, could I get a fucking smile? <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? Could I a get fucking a fucking smile, smile you one? stupid All right, lady? Guys, sorry. I'm gonna try this damn purple piece of shit. Purple milkshake that I heard so much about all day. It would have been great if Today, she would have. Uh... From McDonald's, I want to see what <laughs> she the would have done fucking this challenge. tastes like. I'll let you know. So all here right. goes. Here we go, Grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> the oh, way, how, tell me how you really feel. Oh my God! Why is she doing it at the car? Shit. Fuck no! That damn McDonald's, that purple fucking shake that McDonald's got, 
It ain't worth the fucking shit. I agree. It tastes. <laughs> What taste? It's like, like I kind of love how the fact that she was just had her reaction and some random guys like, "Yo, you all right?" Like, "No, I'm not all right." She like flat out like, "No, I'm not all right." I just had that fucking purple shit drink, and it and it's terrible. And the guys just like, "I agree." <laughs> she took this so personally. Isn't it just blueberry milk and like some ice cream? Hot shit. Tastes like hot Motherfucker. shit. Fucker. Good. All right, a round of applause for um. Angry grandma. Uh, I don't think she liked it. <laughs> I don't think she did. All right. Today I'm trying the brand Let's new keep Grimace going. shake. Because I got Happy a bunch birthday, of these. Happy birthday, Grimace! I think this is gonna be the last one. I love how he has Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Like, why does in all these videos Grimace just like? Not on everybody though. Round of applause. Let's go. That's that's as interesting as that segment was gonna get. I think. Let's just move right on to the Liver King segment. Liver the Liver King is a piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit. I'm sorry. <clears throat> like, you go. let's dis dis disembowel the fact that he fed a bunch of random people. Raw, raw meat, it, it, and called it science. As a doctor, right? He he marketed himself as, as a medical professional. Maybe not a doctor, but as a medical professional, and then told people eating raw meat is more potent or more fi uh, efficient. More efficient. You figure it out. Thank you. Uh. This is this is me trying to do a show. Today on the danger zone, we're gonna be uh reacting today, but uh, I, nothing works ever because I have a professional stream. You get a treat. You get a treat. You get a treat. You get a treat. The liver, the queef. It's like what the fuck is this video? <laughs> I guess he doesn't want a treat. I guess he doesn't want. Shut up! I'll take his. You treat. got nothing but muscles inside your head. Nailed it. That was funny. That was goddamn fucking funny. And if you don't know who the Liver King is, he was a all-natural uh, bodybuilding uh, fanatic who uh, turns out wasn't all-natural. He told everybody that he ate raw meat, and that's how that's how he was able to acquire his physique. Turns out there was no way to acquire that physique without steroids. And so, like now that he's called, oh god, he's such a disgusting human person. And now that he's been called out about it, he, he's kind of embraced the the meme. That he's not an all-natural person. He started juicing again But he still has the clout that he did he did before so the people that idolized him before was like, you know what? I don't even give a shit that you you lied to me completely and tried to sell me uh, stu Super supplemental pro products like oh God. you know this and that right? It doesn't matter. I'm I think this guy is a cool dude And like here we are what the fuck is this, right? You already... Everyone knows that eating raw oh, raw fish isn't how you got these muscles. So why are you still following through with this? And, uh, as always, still, still fake flexing, right? Still fake flexing, right? Look at the seat that sort of demonstrates that he still has the amount of wealth that he used to have when he was lying to everybody. But you look at the background, like, no, it's not the same type of uh, house that he had. The, his apology video was literally in a freaking castle. This is no castle in the background anymore. But, all right, let's just watch this stupid-ass video. Like, what the fuck? Why are you eating this? Are you recording? Are you recording? Of course he's recording. The fucking light is on, you stupid idiot. No? I didn't want to swallow that. 
It sure right. is good. You know, I'm going to get down on it anyways. That's what Liver King's having for dinner. Uh huh. Salmon head. That's right, right, right. That's all you had for dinner that night. I once said, like, if you were a piece of shit person, lied all the time, you would be very successful. I guess I was right. Because this video. Nine thousand likes. I don't know how many views it says it somewhere. I don't know where it says it though. But it's all bullshit, right? Because he does not—he's not eating this. I don't know what this is right here, but it, that looks possibly cooked. I don't know. Salmon fillets, salmon livers, salmon, salmon rice. Livers. And with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we're gonna have liver, testicle, bone marrow, and heart. Right, 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 right. Liver is king. Right, 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 right. And so, like, his whole shtick now is that he hits his supplements. He goes, oh, this is stupid. You know, boom, bow. You know, that, it's funny because, you know, buy my supplements. Liver King bar. Yeah, because you know how mm. great mm. chocolate goes with salmon. I think I might just eat a bunch of Liver King bars for dinner. Oh. That's what Liver King's having for dinner today. Oh, right. Okay, no. Right, right. Um... I don't even want to pretend to give him. <laughs> I don't even want to pretend to give him any credit for any of this. You're a scumbag. You're a scumbag piece of shit, and you tricked a bunch of people to eating r raw meat. And uh, there's probably one person who got really super sick from eating raw meat, thinking that he was going to look like you. Let's be honest. On top of that, right? He gave people so much shit about. Let me put some sort of music in the background. About playing video games is like oh, I don't play video games. It's a waste of time. I I don't do it. You gotta be a, a beta male uh, to play video games. Guess what he's pretending to do on TikTok now. I'll give you two guesses. Give me your liver. Um. I don't know if you're realizing how fast his his thumbs are moving. You can't probably see it. Let's full screen this bitch, right? Go backwards a little bit. Pop, 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 right? If it's I'll usually... your testicles, you little shit! What? I'll your testicles, you little shit. So this motherfucker is not playing. I, see... I wish I could show you his thumbs. Give me your... You can't see his thumbs. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Look... But then you can't see the gameplay. All right, let's do this. Oh, I can't. Oh, you slimy piece of shit. You're gonna have to just take my words on uh, on it. He's no, no words. Let's look at his fingers. Like he's shooting right here. You can hear it, but his hand's not even on the controller. You'll you'll get me never, bitch. I'm gonna eat your testicles. Like, look at who plays like this. Do I have a controller somewhere here? Yes, I do. Who plays like this? I'm like maybe, maybe, but no. I wish I had the footage of him. Pretty much just saying like I don't play video games because it's a, it's for stupid beta male losers. Is literally what he said. I don't know if that's how I had it anymore. Like around here, maybe. Good enough. All right. Moving on. Uh, round of applause, booze. For this piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, Liver King. You're a fucking asshole. You you use your medical. Uh. I don't even want to want to call it profession medical background to to falsely to provide false information regarding uh, bodybuilding and then he didn't he told, told people he didn't shower i don't know we'll, we'll move on past that okay oh man i needed to blow my nose here 
All right, let's watch a video really quickly. What are we going to segue to? Cher, apparently. Cher is looking amazing. I, like, I don't even know what to say about her anymore. I don't want to say. I really don't think it's far enough. If you believe. This, this lady is 72 years old. I can guarantee you. She's eating babies. To keep you so young. Like, look at the. Compared to the late to the lady right next to her, they they look like the same age. She's seventy two. I can't play her music anymore. But anyways, round of applause for Cher, I guess, right? What is this show? What am I doing anymore? No, I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm calling it out. Calling out how I see it. Shout out to Papa Bless. Shout out to the big man up there, right? And the crew. Who gave us the power to speak on things. So we only been scratching the surface this entire time. Archeo yes. Ooh. Okay. Let's move on. I want to burn through a lot of these videos. I have way too many videos. I think we should just like start just start watching some of them. There's a guy who claims he's Hitler. Uh, excuse me, hot hot Hitler. Adolf Adolf Hitler. I hate that you can't say things anymore. Like you can't even call things what they are anymore. Because it's too offensive. And, it, and and the fact that it's offensive isn't the problem. It's the, the fact that it's the, the things that they're doing is so offensive. So you can't say what, what it is. Like the R word. That act is such a disgusting act. Like, And it's such a triggering thing for people who experience that. That you can't say the word. Just hearing the word is terrible. So I guess I don't hate the fact because, you know, if it's causing people harm, right? The fuck? Oh, here's a fun fact here. Uh, did you know the Harvard behavior si behavioral scientist who studied honesty accused of fabricating data report? Somebody help me with this. By David Proper. Let's let's find out. David Proper. Article by David Proper Harvard Behavior Scientist Study. We'll just say it's in the New York Post. New York Post. Here we go. Wow, that's f oh my god. Like, like, what can you trust at this? Like, what can you trust at this point? So here's what the video. So this is how I found out about this video. What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? What did they do to And that's how I found out about it. But this is the actual article here. Harvard behavior scientists who studied honesty accused of fabricating the data report. There, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Not even the, the people we paid to be factually accurate can be factu factually accurate about the one topic they're supposed to be factually accurate about I'm a, I'm a chef here but I don't make food you know I don't know hey hi I, I'm a construction worker but I ain't gonna build shit let's just read it read this article I guess a prominent Harvard, Harvard behavioral scientist, I need to spray my nose really quickly, bear with me. 
I'll do, I'll do this. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, full screen it so you guys don't have to watch me nasal spray myself. Quality contact, baby. Shout out to Ian if he's watching. Uh, I have I, I have uh, probably a delusion, but subconsciously I, I wish it was. I hope it's true. I I feel like uh, Ian Morris from the H3 podcast, my favorite show in the wa world. Shout outs, Papa Bless. Uh, I feel watches my show. I don't know how to prove this yet, but I'm going. I'm operating on the assumption that's happening. A round of applause for that. I sure, sir. I sure, certainly am. All right. Oh, what happened? To my donkey laugh. My donkey laugh is so good. We need that. We're gonna need it. Where is it? Donkey laugh, baby. I got hairy legs. No. Load. I think it's under donkey laugh, right? No. Oh, yeah, the audience members are gonna know. A B C D. There it is, D. Donkey laugh. Where's my donkey laugh? Do you have your passports? No, it's not in here. Maybe it's on the left. Uh, laugh, laugh. L M N O P. Laughter, law and order. It's not in here. Wow. Huh? What is this one? What is this one? No, not into the pit. It burns. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep that one for some reason. But, all right, there you go. Round of applause for that one, right? Okay, let, let's get into it. Harvard behavioral scientists who studied uh, honesty accused of fabricating data. Here we go. A prominent Harvard behavioral scientist who uh, undertook study. Uh, let me look at this camera because it's probably better. I can't see it though. There it is. A prominent behavioral scientist who undertook studies about honesty. Let's put some music. No, we need some funny music to this because this is funny business. But also, I don't want it to distract me. There you go. Nailing, nailing the stream today. Prominent uh, Harvard behavioral scientist who undertook studies about honesty is under fire for allegedly fabricating papers that she worked on, according to the report. Harvard Business School's Francesca Gino allegedly chalked up phony results tied to studies, including one focused on honest behavior. She's been placed on leave, according to her business school webpage, which the Times reported showed she was still on the job as recently as mid-May. She has published 135 articles since 2007, according to the Chronicle of Higher Education, in a blog called Data Collada, run by three behavioral scientists. It alleged fraud in four academic papers that she, holy fuck, that Gina, Gina co-authored. Co-authored, but so, okay, so then who's who's the other people that are responsible for this? They said the uh, presented evidence is a fraud uh, to Harvard and in the fall of 2021 tied to a 2012 paper and another three papers she was a part of. The 2012 paper re relied on three separate studies, including one of Gino's, uh, that Gino spearhe spearheaded. Uh, the paper claimed that people who fill out tax forms in, or insurance documents are more honest if they attest to the truth of their responses at the top of the page instead of the bottom at the time before it. What? So when you fill out the information honestly on the top, you mean like your social security information? Well, hold on a second. So let, let's just, uh, let me pull up an example of a 1099, right? 1099, right? No, it's not. That's something else. W ten W forty. Ten W forty, right? I don't know. It's not ten W forty. Ten forty. 
So according to that study, if you fill out your name, honestly, your oh there it is. If you fill out if you your <laughs> your uh your uh relationship status, people are probably like on the top of your going. Oh man, I don't want to admit that I'm single one more year. You know what? I'm married, but filing separately. <laughs> He's going to proceed to lie about the rest of the application. All right. So, yeah. So that's what she's claiming. So if you if you don't provide people with your marital status, correct marital, marital status, you're going to lie uh, for the rest of your um, tax information. One of the experiments, um, experiments asked about 100 participants to complete a worksheet of 20 puzzles. And for every puzzle cracked, they would get a dollar. Uh, the Times reported. Participants later submitted a form saying how much money they earned from the puzzle solving, but were lot led to believe that they were, wouldn't get caught if they cheated. How would you lead lead somebody to believe that? Hey, uh, answer these questions, please. Honestly, but if you lie, we won't know. <laughs> Is that how they did it? Is that how they got this scientific information? <laughs> Their scientific uh, data? Uh, just so you know, if you fill that out incorrectly, I'll never know. <laughs> Subject seems to be intrigued. <laughs> okay, let's go. I mean, what do, what else do you do about that? Round of applause. Uh, in reality, researchers would be able to know how many puzzles were solved. Uh, the study determined participants were more truthful if they attested to the accuracy of their responses at the top of the form, not at the bottom. But the three scientists, Yuri Solomon, blah, 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 uh, Leif Nelson and Joseph Simmons, in their blog post alleged that some of the data had been t tampered with, according to the Times. Back in 2021, the same three behavioral scientists pinpointed evidence that Another study in the same paper seems to rely on bad data, the Times reported. University of Pennsylvania Wharton School's behavior scientist, Maurice Schweltzer, uh, told the Times uh, he was reviewing eight papers he worked with Gino on. He noted others were doing the same. Accusations lodged against Gino were leading to major, major reverberations in the academic community because Gino has so many collaborators, so many articles, who is really a leading scholar in the field, he told the Times. Oh, shit. So she was just, like, she was like the person to talk to about lying. Apparently, she got lost in her own studies. Where's, uh, there we go. That you, um, you have... That's not what I'm going to do. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> and why do I have two of these? Uh, I'm from Humberside. Respectfully. Wet ass P word. Thank you. Okay, so she's the leader of, uh... Lying, I guess. Accusation laws against she... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Her studies have also been featured in an array of news articles and broadcasts. Fair enough. Uh, so uh, there you have it, Gino. Francesca, Francesca Gino, ladies and gentlemen. That's like the lead, uh, the lead uh, scientific um, anal anal an analyst for uh, alcoholism was completely drunk while she did the the study so round of applause for that segment i guess right that actually went longer than i thought all right let's go let's go let's go, go, go. france yes france france was crazy last week i don't even think i can show any of this all right well let's let's listen to what this guy has to say 
mainstream media refuses to cover it. France is literally on fire. The literally. mainstream media refuses to cover it. In what some people are calling the civil war, France is being burnt to the ground. Like, this includes over 2,000 cars and 700 buildings destroyed, with one rider claiming that this is war. People on the ground have captured an RPG being fired and even what? people stealing a year's worth of cat food. Since then, what? France has deployed over 45,000 military police equipped with military gear and even... That's scary that... That's such a bad plot <laughs> part to stop on. That's so scary because like a year year's supply twelve year supply of cat food, why is that important for you? What do you have like twelve cats and you're like, okay, well this is my time to get it? This is scary to me, guys. I don't know. Um when I saw the footage of this or at least to the protest, right when there was all peep, just people, and I wish I can, I can hopefully show you. I, I didn't catch any of it when when I first started seeing this formulating, but it was a lot of people. Like they were f at capacity in France. Like they, wherever they were, there were so many people that you couldn't see the ground. So the fact, the the. The fact that overpopulation is a possibility is accurate. Uh, that on top of uh, what was going on in um, Anime Con, the anime convention. Let's see if I have a footage of that. Do I? Yeah. Right? So overpopulation is, is a thing. Look at this. And so. The fact that people are stealing cat food now from from a store, from a palace worth of cat food, is frightening. Frightening. That means that they need that. Like, who? who what are they he's trying desperately to feed his cats? I think he's trying to get prepare for food. Food. Since then, France has deployed over 45,000 military police equipped with military gear and even tanks. So the one thing we do know is that this was sparked by officers opening fire. So this is the reason why it's happening. What they're saying is, is that uh, it sparked because a 17 year old ki was killed. And this is the footage of it. I've seen footage of French police. Actually, no, it's British police. I'm not going to lie. But th generally, they're pretty subdued. On a vehicle trying to leave the scene, causing the death of a 17-year-old. All hope now lies on the Batman that's been seen roaming the streets of France. And that's another thing. So, with all the chaos, uh, I, I don't know, I guess people t took it upon themselves to, like, meme it really quickly. So we'll have videos like this. I don't know if they took it down yet. You know, there's only one person that can save us now type of thing but make no joke this is not a joke like just because you make a joke out of it that's scary shit what's happening like there's videos of like wild animals roaming. that's excessive Look at this. They flipped over a bus. That's not the last part's not real. That's from the video. Alright, so we can't probably trust this video. We probably and that's the sad part, is like I don't even know if we can trust any video. All right, what else would you, let's listen to another article here's what's going on in france right now so this is what's going on already know for the past four days france look, has been in look, riots that's a horse and carriage that's just unoperate unmanned that's desolate right that's i am legend type of shit. the police the whole place looks like something out of the let's just replay that really quickly going on in France right now. If you don't already know, for the past four days, France has been in riots with the police. The whole place looks like something out of the purge. So here's what's... And, and it sparked because 
a police officer shot a 17 year old which is a heinous crime and don't get me wrong absolutely and the people should should definitely be punished who for behind it but that caused all of that outrage like do Fr do french people care about each other more than american people because that happens like there's been two over 200 there's been three sh statistically three shootings a day mass shootings a day uh, wait, we're not allowed to say that. There has been at least three mass uh, attacks um, per day, statistically, with the amount that we get this this year alone. I might be off on the statistic, but spark the whole thing according we're to not the doing police any officers of this, but involved. look at that bumblebee. two motorbike police noted a mercedes that had a polish license plate it was speeding and the driver looked very young so they flagged it down okay. to do a normal traffic check they tried to flag him down at a red light but the driver kept going drove through the red light and continued to speed fleeing okay so he was scared so far not justified to kill him from the police so the police gave chase so when they finally stopped him the two police officers got out and were on the left hand side of the vehicle speaking with the driver when suddenly he started the car and sped off at okay. that point one of the officers shot at the vehicle killing a 17 year old boy and right 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 but the car then becomes a weapon at that point right right if you if a police officer is on your pers your passenger side window you start to move the vehicle when you're supposed to be stopped the vehicle then becomes a weapon but of course yes he's running away so yeah i know that he got murdered I did not want to like and that. And even though firefighters well, came and tried to revive the young man, he was already dead. And though he's had a number of run-ins with the police, this does not justify their actions. Yeah. Since then, there has been massive riots all over France. 150 protesters okay. have been arrested over backlash over the excessive force police officers have with the residents in Paris. What do you guys think of this? All right. Well, very well said. I'm currently in a in an argument with people on my TikTok. I I I've just been commenting, shit commenting on people's shit. I I I'm not holding it in anymore. I'm calling it out everywhere I see it now. Anything that I think is bullshit in any capacity or uh, some sort of any kind of bullshit, I'm pointing it out. I'm saying it. Not keeping that shit to myself anymore. But no, this is scary shit. Let's keep watching. And the fact that like no one's talking about it, like riots and protests have been occurring in France for like a year now. It all started with the yellow jacket movement because people didn't have enough to feed their families. And now it's like became this. So this is just a riot police situation. And like I said, I just I've been I've been clipping everything just to make sure I didn't lose anything, because uh, a, a lot of the times when I clip something or I save it for later, they'll erase the footage. So it's like I have to get multiple um, sources for one video. <laughs> so this is the armored trucks. <laughs> France moving like the like a GTA lobby and this all looks like a movie like this uh, this was hard to believe because it all all just looks like a scene from movies especially with that cinematic Batman video and and who knows maybe the government their government is even just like trying to like de-escalate the situation by by doing this but like look at this this is a, ri a random rhino rhino they they let the animals loose. No, this was building up. Like this this acts like this don't just happen because of a, a one scenario time situation. If this was happening consistently, where they were, you know, uh, m wording, unaliving, uh, seventeen year olds, then yes. But. This is nuts. The parts you are. 
to this elephant. Like, how do you, how do you pay for this, as a, as a, as a government entity? How do you pay to clean, clean all this up, when like, the whole society is attacking you? How do you gain control? Of this? That's a war. Oh, don't even get me started if the gorillas got loose. Peacocks that mean it into a boss. Lions, that's fucked. Ostriches, that's scary shit. If I saw a gaggle of ostriches running towards me, I would shit, piss and shit myself first, then ask questions later. Oh, I think I found my donkey laugh. Oh, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's. Uh, can we go back to that? <laughs> can we go? Oh, we can't go back to that uh, liver queef video and do the fake laugh. No, it is what it is. Missed opportunity, I guess. I know, I know. It's hard to run a live show. I should know. I've been doing it for a couple months. I'm an expert. Like right now, I'm struggling to find another video for this. The French president is blaming right, protest and violence in France. So on... with all the um cinematics, right? So like with all the Batman stuff. And, and let me show you some of the other Batman stuff really quickly before we show, show this video. Where is that? Full of men dressed up as Batman jumping out of a moving truck. Who who the fuck coordinated this? That was of who organized this? That was not a group of people. This this couldn't have been like a Reddit trend. And so with that being said, this is what the president has to video say. Video games. According to him, video games are intoxicating people's minds. Now, if you didn't know, there's been some... So, like, let's, let's listen to this train of thought here. Your hired police department shoots and kills an unarmed child. Everyone gets upset and starts rioting. You see how the t chain of events just don't add up, right? Sure, protest, sure, right? Maybe no response, okay, sure. Maybe complaints and, and vigils, yeah. Maybe something, 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 something happens, like where it agitates it. And I don't know, we're not seeing the whole situation, but maybe they kill another, excuse me, they unalive another a 17 year old and then they 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 break into riots and protests then the assumption is right the train of thought goes they these people the whole country is playing too many too many video games see how that doesn't make any sense protests and violence all over France lately because of a police shooting. I'm not going to go into that because I'm not the news. But besides right. all that, the French president decided to go on TV and basically humiliate himself by saying uh -huh. that this violence has been incited because of people playing video games. Oh. He literally said, and I quote, there is a feeling that some of them are living in the streets like the video games that intoxicated them. First of all, what? And second of all, no. So let's just say- Right, right, right. Because it's like, it's everyone, right? You can't- the, the 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 percentage of people that actually play video games can't be a hundred percent of your population, right? That doesn't make sense. And then for a hundred percent of your population to be mind controlled because of video games, to riot, protest, break out animals, uh, do all the things that are happening right now is illogical, right? It it would be a public emergency. All the other countries would be have to be like, well, video games have have uh, made people uh, insane to the point of rioting and looting. We need to put a halt to video games for the time being until we could get this situated. That would be the, la the, the logical train of thought. But this doesn't make any sense. Everyone's getting super angry. Like maybe the things that they're doing, right? It's like so maybe like flipping over cars, stealing it, uh, da 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 da. 
but stealing cat food that's not a video game thing like what cat, what video games have you played that you, you actively stole cat food the record straight most of the studies that scientists have conducted about video games and violence have shown that there's really no correlation and that's between another the two. people that's demonizing another video specific. games has been happening since they first came out there's probably some people that thought that pong was going to start making people violent now excuse it, me it while did. i go beat up some random person because i play video games oh and follow for more and follow for more Ra round of applause for that segment right there the straw man fucking argument i don't even know what the str what straw manning means but that stuff i feel like if if that was it i if if i could use it in a sentence that would is what i would use it for so there you have it um gaslighting knows no end once you start gaslighting it's going to be hard to stop and uh, it also isn't the answer for everything. So uh, take note, America, if you think that <laughs> you're going to gaslight your way out of a revolution, you're sadly mistaken. Moving on. We're making great time, I think. I can't really tell. We're at an hour. Okay, so yes, last 10 minutes. So w let me just make sure what we talked about everything we wanted to talk about. Um, liver queef... Grimace Shake, France is on fire. And then finally, the main event, ladies and germs. I purchased just for the show a D D D Keck. A D Keck Orcarina. Right? Here it is. 12 hole Orcarina. I was gonna ruin my camera. So let's just do a live unboxing here now. I was gonna set up another camera, but we're just gonna have to do it this way. So, oh, pack, um, box break really quickly. Uh, let's just uh, give a quick look at the box, right? So on the, on the top, it says DKEC um, 12 hole Ocarina. Uh, it includes, but not limited to, no, it, it just, it is limited to, uh, one Ocarina one display stand which i can't wait to show you because i did take a look because i wanted to take a picture of me playing it um for the thumbnail but a protective bag a neck strap cord and a dkek song book so let's get right into it right it's very fragile fragile and let's open it up so right off the bat you get the dkek songs from legend of zelda and others so not limited to zelda songs and uh let's just take a look at the songs the uh the artwork in here very lovely right that's what the arc arena looks like this is a song we're we're gonna try to learn these songs live here on the danger zone uh let's see oh man my camera's messing up Okay, uh, and then here's just some of the songs. Some of the songs include Ocarina of Time, Song Song of Time, Ocarina of Time, Requiem of Spirit, Minute Minute Wood, Bolero Fire, Kakariko Village. I'm going to be a pro at this one day. Song of Healing, Medina's Desperate Hour, I don't even know any of these songs. I never got to play Zelda, but I thought this was cool a segment to do. So let's just keep going with the box. All right. So the, here's the protective case. Very protective-y. Um, this is the stands, which when I first saw it, I was like, this is the most bizarre thing. This is the stand. This is what you would hold your Arc Arena in. And obviously this is how, to, meant to mimic the way it would look. Because I think this is more of a display item, if anything. Cause I don't think people are trying to really learn how to play this thing. Who knows? They might. I might pick it up. This is the next strap. And then, finally, the Orcarina itself. Let's go. Okay, uh, can, can I get a round of applause for this? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's just do a test run really quick. Let's just see what it sounds like. I, um, wait, no, let's do this first. Let's just find out what the... So this is what it's supposed to look like when it's on the stamp. 
No, like this. Because this is how you play it. You gotta be kidding me. That's the sand, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay. So let's uh, test it out really quick. Here we go. Oh, no way. It works. <laughs> Round of applause for me, everybody. God, I'm so talented. <laughs> All right, so really quickly, I'm just gonna play you a quick song. I want I want to see what it sounds like. So we I'm gonna need complete silence for this. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys can hear what I'm playing. But uh, here's the first song that I would like to perform for you. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I hit my tooth. Uh. Nailed it! <laughs> Round of applause for that segment. Okay. Alright, so we got that bit out of the way. Let's get right into this bitch. Let's try to learn a song. I wanted to have a PDF of the um, actual book in the background, but that's not going to happen. So we're just going to have to um, do this. <laughs> there we go. You got to have to pretend, unfortunately, guys. All right, here we go. And I'll just have to make sure I stand the right way. There you go. <laughs> that's that looks stupid let's just go to a close uh, here we go okay so here we go the first song we're going to try to play for you see if it works is going to be ocarina of time i for the life of me cannot remember the song the only zelda game i've ever played was the first one and i can't and i'm blanking because we're live so i can't i can't remember anything but um, here we go. This is how we play this. So it's so when it's showing, showing you, I think, if I can show you guys, is where you're supposed to be placing your fingers. And it's, it's tough to show on camera, but that's okay. And it's hard to see too, so maybe if I get, get some some light on this. Okay. All right, so it starts off with... This is impossible. That, how am I supposed to read this? So am I supposed to hold all four of these first and then this? This is gonna this is gonna be a great segment. I might as well just do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I really, the whole segment was me learning how to play a, to a song. So here we go. How do you read this fucking thing? I can't read this. Maybe there's an example online, a guide online. Uh, how to play to play the or cur or it's like literally the first thing that comes up when you type it. Okay, so learning to how to play the Orc Arena. Here we go. The title suggests I will be teaching you how 
not to play the ocarina and this video is how come hers is better than mine no matter if you are brand new to music or if you have played another instrument before okay one of my very first videos that i ever made with the ocarina was my learn how to play the ocarina tutorial I've changed a couple things along the way and added tabs and a couple other things so I wanted to do an updated version for 2023. At this okay. point I also have a bunch of other tutorials made for you and I have them all in There's one There's buttons in the back too. Which is right here. It's learn how to play the ocarina playlist and it teaches you everything from how to If anything I can use this for bird calls. To how to do vibrato and a lot of other things walks you through everything you need to know about playing the ocarina and I also have another playlist with song tutorials that you can check out right here. Before we get started i did want to mention that if you are looking for a new there's ocarina, gonna be a band that plays this she's definitely learned every single like she has two of them four of them she has like five of them one last thing i want to mention before we all right get let's get into it is that in my last why does she have a, a, a mac studio pro does not sound right i'm following exactly what you're saying and it does not sound right Unfortunately, a lot of instruments are made to be kind of more of a display piece or a oh. toy and not actually to be played. A lot of times oh, okay. these are Amazon purchased. I have a video about that right here. I tried several and unfortunately did not have very much luck with those particular instruments. Sons of bitches! But if you are having they finessed with me. The arena, it's it was only 30 bucks. You're starting a new <laughs> instrument to know is this something I'm doing since I'm new? Is there something I'm doing incorrectly? Right, right, or is right. there something wrong with the instrument? All right. So can, can you just teach me how to play, the please? Ocarina, and there are only three holes there. Okay. Now, there are two other holes that you might notice on a lot of ocarinas. Not all of them have this, but you might notice on the side. look at this screen. Right here that there are holes. And that oh. is just for the next drop. That is nothing that you do for the sound. No, now, okay. another hole that you are not going to be doing anything with is this one on the back, this one on the top. And that's just where the air is coming out and the sound is coming out. Okay. So you are not going to be worrying okay. about this at Got all. Got it. Now let's talk hand placement. This let's is how do we're it. going to hold the <laughs> Am I right? Hand is going to be facing up like this and our right hand is going to be facing down like this. Oh, okay. So with our left hand and our thumb, we are going to place that on the back of the ocarina on the left hole. Right oh, this here. is going to be, uh, and then this is up and this is down. Okay, got it. Our left hand are just going to go on these four holes right here. Okay. Now you'll notice there is a small hole right here. In this video, we are not going to be covering that. In a later video, okay. I do explain what that is. But for now, don't worry about that and do not cover that hole. So like I said before, we have I want to play um, thumb on the back. Celine Dion's life will, one, will go on. Two, three, four. All four of our fingers on our left hand are going to cover those holes. Now for our right hand, our right thumb, eh? as you guessed, I'm sure, okay, is okay. going to cover this hole in the back. Okay, okay, okay. And then again, our right hand is draping over the top of the ocarina. Got it. And then we are going to cover the holes just like we did on the other side. One, two, three, four. Okay. Again, you'll notice there is a smaller hole right here. Yep, yep, and yep. And we are not going to be covering that in the video today. So got, again, got, got, got our right thumb goes on the back of the ocarina. Yep. And then we go over to the front. One, two, three, four. Four. And it's important that when my you're friend, supposed to be my friend, that we need to get to the point way. here. Otherwise, the sound is going to sound a little funky. So if any time throughout this video or while you're playing on your own, you're noticing that doesn't sound exactly right. Make sure that you're covering the holes all the way. Just look down at okay. your hands. Make sure everything is covered. If you're new to music and you don't know what a note is or the importance of notes, that is absolutely okay. Essentially, a note is just a different pitch. So if, if anything, I have piano, something for bird calls. Each one of those keys is a different note. So ultimately, by knowing the different notes, you will be able to play different songs and know what oh. notes correspond. So I'm gonna have to notes. learn how to make music are, of course, for this. A lot of different ways you can learn songs. Imagine like I learned how to play an ocarina. Music or by tabs, which I will be showing you. I'm sure music. there's probably a, now, a hundred, hundreds tabs, of people who have already done this. Teaching you how to read tabs, so you can check that out right here. Now let's put our hands back on the ocarina like we just done. So reminder: we have our thumbs covering the holes on the back. Yep. Yep. And one, two, three, four. One, Nailed two, it. three, four. Let's go. I, have, I think I chipped a two for the, on this already. Covered. Again, we are not going over those today. This is the lowest note we will be learning today. And okay. Is AC. There can are can we play a song, four, though? Which we will I don't want to learn music. I want to learn a song. So now we are going to go to our thumbs. My, my whole skit. And that is our low C. With one finger for I don't want to learn music. This is a bit, lady. 
Lift the next finger for F. Lift your pointer finger for G. And reminder, we're keeping both of our thumbs down. Now we are going to go to A. So we're leaving this pinky down, lifting our ring finger. Why can't I remember any of the songs right now? I'm blanking. Okay. Uh, try to think of... I was singing the songs all week before today's segment, and I can't remember any of them. Our middle finger. Put those fingers back. All right. Go back to this. Learn... Learn the Ocarina, Ocarina Basics. How to sound good on the Ocarina. Um, I just want to learn a song, please, because then the whole the whole segment is done. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to find a song. Best song from Ocarina of Time. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to be able to do any of that. I think I got myself way in there over my head with this purchase. That's the song I wanted to do. No, that's not... That's not like Game of Thrones. No. That's the song. Okay, what was that last song? Uh, oh, man. There's no skip. I have to wait for the whole video to go by so I can hear the last song again. This is the best segment ever. They stole that song. That that this song, whatever this song is, is not a, an original song. All right, here and the last song finally. Saria's song. Okay, how to play, how to play Saria's song on an ocarina. There we go. Here we go. We got this. We're not. And oh, what is this? Oh boy. Sorry, Assault. Let's go. And please don't just tell me where to put my hands. Two times. On the STL Ocarina website, and you'll get 10% off your order. Okay. Let's go. If you're just starting on the Ocarina, or you happen to be a Zelda fan, then this is a perfect song for you to learn. There are three notes that we are going to be playing a lot in this song, and those are F, A, B. So. Oh. Mike, let's go. Thanks for watch, uh, liking One the video. Time. So, oh, wait, I missed it. With those three notes. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. on. I missed it. If you're just starting on the ocarina or you happen to be a Zelda fan, then this is a perfect song for you to learn. There are three notes that we are going to be playing a lot in this song, and yep, yep. those are F, A, B. So. Okay, okay. Pause it, pause it. Right here. Okay. Uh. I, I need the whole thing to be... No! Yeah, it is what it is. All right, so, okay. So she said, keep your hands like this and this, right? And then, so all four has to be here. One has to be here. So F, A, oh my God, this is difficult. A, and then B. So that's going to be...
That's hot crust buns. That does not sound like anything than what she's doing. <laughs> it's terrible. Nailed it. Let's go. Where's my round of applause? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Wait. Oh, I could do a uh, dun 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 dun. I'm gonna learn how to play this. Okay, FAB, got it. Next. She looks so proud of herself. That sounds way better than mine. So, it starts out with those three notes, and it happens two times. It happens Can I tune mine? Time, but continues. Is there a way to tune? This time it goes F, A, B, E, D. Okay, E, D, E, D. Which is something I have. <laughs> Wait, where's my room shot? Hey! <laughs> So it's going to be. Oh. If you have forgotten how to play E and D, I will do. So it's going to be. um. Nailed it. It's two times. It sounds way better. Hers sounds way better than mine. This is obviously a display it model. A time, and it's not even a good display because the paint is not, not even that good. You're getting your turn, bitch. D. I'm talking to the thing. Oh, I see. So it's e two times. So that's two times and then one more. Plus the E and D. So here we go. So it should technically sound like. Hold on. No. Wait. Nope. Got it. Hold on. I got it. Is it me? Let's just watch the whole video. If you have forgotten how to play E and D, I will do a quick reminder for you. E is everything up except for your left hand pinky. That includes both. I'm getting hands. it. <laughs> so E, just your pinky. Uh, let's go. And D, oh. you will just add your right hand thumb just like this. Him. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just skip past that, ma'am. That includes both thumbs. So E, just your pinky. Wait, E is just your pinky. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That includes both thumbs. So E, just your pinky. Okay. And D, you will okay. just add your right hand thumb like this. Okay, let's try that all together. So F A B E D. I'll do it really slow for you. Now this part is different. It goes B oh. C B G E. Uh. And the last four notes of this section are D E G E. I got this. I can totally okay. do this. Okay, go okay, on. Hold on. Okay, okay, all right. So this part is just gonna be. <laughs> I 
I'm so glad I never picked up an instrument. The bass is the only thing I ever did. And D, you will just add your right hand thumb like this. Okay, let's try that all together. So F, A, B, E, let's go. D. I'll do it really slow for you. Now this part is different. It goes B, C, B, G, E. My hand is getting tired. Holy shit. And the shit. last four notes of this section are D, E, G, E. Now let's put that all together. Nailed it. Round of applause so for me. The first half of this next section is identical. Right? That was perfect. I think we we've we've did it. We can end the show here, but I want to keep learning. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke and just be like, I nailed it and shot uh, jobs done, mission complete. But I kind of want to finish this. All right, let's just learn the first part, the F A B. Learn how to fab. No problem there. Right. I got this. Hold on. <laughs> I think I should have just ended the show right there. I mean, we're we're past the hour mark, but still. Nope. Damn, this hurts my hand. Ugh. Okay, okay, all right. All right, well, there you have it. That concludes, I kind of want to learn how to do this. <laughs> I want to get to the end. Wait. All right, let's just watch the whole video, the whole tutorial, here we go. Time. So, it starts out with those three notes, and it happens two times. It happens a third time, but continues. This time it goes F, A, B, E, I like her groove in the background. E, she even D. has a link right there. And a Pikachu. If you have forgotten how to play E and D, I will do a quick reminder for you. E is everything up except for your left hand pinky. That includes both thumbs. So E, just your pinky. Oh, snap, son! And D, you will just add your right hand thumb, like this. <clears throat> okay, let's try that all together. So F, A, B, E, D. Let's I'll go. do it really slow for you. Now this part is different. It goes bow, 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 bow. E, C, B, G, so. E. And the last four notes of this section are D, E, G, E. Now like let's once you get like together. once you get once you get to like this part, it sounds to sound really nice. I'm going to learn how to play Final Fantasy with this bitch. Again, the ocarina. Oh, I know what to do. All right, so here we go. All right, so I'm...
Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play what I've learned so far. Let's see how I do. Let's put that all together. Hold on. Then. <clears throat> so the the moment we've been waiting for, everybody. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? All right, here we go. Johnny Danger performs. Saria song. <clears throat> What? I mean... <laughs> so the first what? half I'm, 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 Hold on, shut up. <laughs> I'm amazing! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, donkey! And then I don't know the rest. All right, hold on. Let's practice the second part. Hold on. Let's let's try to learn at least one song. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat you guys from a song. All right, here we go. <laughs> My cat's just like, what the fuck are you doing? I think this was this would be perfect for like a bird call. What would you do if I just like transported? Wait, hold on. What is it again? It's Okay. Oh my god, I feel something happening. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Hold on. Do I have any like teleportation music? How about eight inches and thick? There you go. That's gonna be my type of teleport song. So here you go. Uh, Alright, here we go. This is the this is the one that doesn't sound right unless it's these two. Oh no, I feel something. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about eight inches and thick? Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> How do I put the camera around? Uh, this way. Oh gosh! I don't know what happened to me. I I, I'm, I seem to have been teleported somewhere else, and then my body also looks very dismorphed. <laughs> It's like it's almost there, but I'm making progress, I think, right? I mean, I think I perfected the, the instrument. Shut 
Should we keep learning? I don't know. I don't know. No one's really showing up today. I, I thought it was a great show. Uh, you know what? We're, we're going to chalk this up as a great victory, and I'm going to definitely learn how to play this. I, I don't care. I'm probably going to keep this. It'll be a good, um, it'll be a good like, hobby, I guess, even though I have a hobby now as of, as in this show, but... <laughs> it's that last part I can't get. So it's supposed I think it's supposed to be these these five. All right, let's just let's just keep going with her. And the last four notes of this section are D, E, G, E. See, it doesn't sound the same. Now let's put that all together. of this next section is identical to what we just played. So it is F A B F A B oh, there's more. F A B E D. Now it goes B C E B G. Ah, uh, Steve. And the last notes are B, G, D, E. I think, I think, you know what? With let's what I've learned that. so far, I think I'm a master. Now, let's hit it. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to call it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Where's my playoff music? Oh. A uh, special shout out to my, my boy Ahmed from from uh, high school. Shouts out! It's his birthday today, apparently. I'm not gonna say your last name because we're live streaming. You know how that goes, you know. But if you, in case you watched the show, happy birthday! In case you didn't watch the show, I take it back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's still happy birthday. But it's gonna call it for today's episode. I thought it was a great show. I should just play I I should play off this song. Yes. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching if you have been watching. Special thanks to uh Mike. Uh I'm not gonna say your last name because I don't want to dox you. Uh but Mike from uh, back in the day. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have been watching as always, peace. Uh